I haven't heard my daughter's voice in a month. I haven't heard my daughter laugh in a month, and it's breaking my heart. On October 2nd, 23-year-old Maria Mascari from Chambly, Quebec, south of Montreal, left for Houston, Texas to begin an experimental treatment for her stage 4 Hodgkin's lymphoma. The treatment came with a steep price tag of 325,000 Canadian dollars. Maria and her mom are back now, not as expected, with a bill of upwards of 700,000 US dollars, and unfortunately the treatment was not successful. Because it's cheaper for us to airlift her back home, $40,000, than to leave her at an ICU at MD Anderson paying 25,000 US dollars every day for treatment. So our costs now, we left MD Anderson with a bill of 700,000 US dollars. You do not know the value of having a healthcare system that we have in Canada. It is unbelievable how lucky we are. And you do not realize that until you go and get healthcare in the United States. Don't get me wrong. The healthcare is excellent. Well, Maria was intubated on October 9th and has been intubated till today. She's been intubated. It had to do with Maria had a collapsed lung. She had pneumonia. Her kidneys were beginning to fail. So all these complications arose while we were in Houston and we had to be admitted into the ICU and they had to treat all these problems. But at the same time, Maria was receiving the trial. So this Thursday, of November 4th, we got the results that Maria's trial is unfortunately not working. It didn't work. So what showed on the CT scan were new masses, bigger masses. Um, it had taken over her whole lungs. So unfortunately, we were told that we will not be continuing to cycle two. And Maria basically is being brought home or to bring Maria home as per MD Anderson for end of life treatment. This was not what Maria and her family were hoping for. If our government would have allowed us or funded us, like we asked him three months ago to help us with this trial to get us there, Maria, that would have been a totally different uh, outcome where Maria would have had the treatment three months earlier. It wouldn't have been too late because it obviously was too late. It had already spread to multiple places. The family is still fundraising to cover the medical expenses related to Maria's time spent in Texas and are not giving up. Pushing hard and I'm confident we're going to get there. We're going to get there one day and Maria's going to be there and we're going to keep on pushing. In Montreal, Faria Nakvi Mohamed, City News.